Ladies and gentlemen, I finally did it. I finally found cards at the physical thrift store. But unfortunately for all you Magic the Gathering fans, it's Pokemon. Yep, sure enough, I found Pokemon cards. Physically bagged up at the Goodwill for $7.99, even including this giant Crocodile EX. So I don't know much about Pokemon, but I'm gonna try to get into these. And for $7.99, here's the receipt, which you can see I got these well over a year ago. I have not known what to do with these until this point. Um, just been hanging on to this, waiting for my supply of magic card auctions to dry up and here they are got to get around to doing this eventually so here we go we're going to get into this uh, i have figured out that the tcg player scanner will scan up pokemon cards i had to practice on some loose ones i had around here they're a little different than magic cards so let's get into this and see if i got anything good here um yeah open it up stapled shut I always stop in at the stores and try to find magic cards, and I, I always strike out. Uh, this was a rarity as well. I rarely see Pokemon cards either. That's pretty cool. A little, some kind of hollow foil business there. Um, so, comment down below if you see something good. I am going to go about uh, scanning these up and seeing if I get anything good, which is what I do on this channel. Um, if you're a Pokemon fan and you're here to uh, check out this, welcome. Uh, let me know how bad I do down below. Um, uh, I'm seeing stuff from 2015. What little I do know of Pokemon is that, just like Magic, the older stuff is worth quite a bit. Newer stuff, not so much. But I know that they're, you know, it's a widely played game. Um, so maybe I'll get lucky here. Um, typically what you'd find in a thrift store if you were to find stuff like this would be like some kids collection uh, my son is six years old and he's just starting to get into this game uh, we're basically just starting to get the basic gist of how to play it um, so I don't know a whole lot more now I do know that basic and stage one your those are evolution steps and these are your um, attacks and things. Uh, I didn't even previously to like a couple weeks ago I didn't even know how you would cast a creature and put it into like on the battlefield. So I am learning a little bit. Um, basic ghastly, let's see. It's a common, it's 23 cents. So let's see if we get anything good here. Bear with me. Fans of my channel will know that I just kinda have to go through all this stuff, especially if I don't know anything. Um, had a little double hit there, Potion Legendary Collection, and hopefully it will get the, uh, the addition correct for me. I mean, okay, so that's an energy. Those probably aren't too big of a deal. I got some glare. Curlia, it's a stage one. Uncommon. Lotad. So, and I, I imagine, like, the money cards are pretty much in like the the hollows is that right so let's see this one is kind of a hollow oh wow there's Yu-Gi-Oh in here that's interesting another game that I know like nothing about trainer a foil trainer, I guess they're called hollows. A U noun and a cottony. This is all foreign to me. Pokemon fan club. Nothing big there. Cottony. All right, let's see if it knows that this is a foil. Ancient Origins. So the symbol down there, that little, this thing means it's an Ancient Origins, but can I change it to, no, okay, normal, reverse hollow foil, 46 cents. There we go, we're on our way. A Miss Drevis. Skyla supporter, so, whoops, and 
it's a it's a hollow reverse hollow foil why is it reverse hollow foil it's only 35 cents though little pup little pup is actually a buck 35 so hey we're hitting some pay dirt and it actually has some pay dirt all over it so unfortunately it's not that great but here there's my buck pile viewers of my channel will know that I have a buck pile that's a rare. So what is this set called? Black and white. Pokemon Black and White from 2011. So these are going back a little ways. That's kind of cool. So I imagine that's nothing, a Leafeon. Hey, wow, 473 for a, a Leafeon from Undaunted 2010. So yeah, maybe the older back you go, maybe the more useful a card is, a little bit more expensive. So hey, that's a little bit of a hit there. Lucario, so we play Smash Bros. I know who Lucario is. 2013. Hollow Rare, 74 cents. We'll pull, we'll pull him. Energy. Sand Slash. He's a hollow. Is that a reverse hollow? It's a reverse hollow for 94 cents. Wow. Yeah, the scanner and Pokemon cards. There we go. Hey, there we go. A Silicoon is a buck forty-nine. Two fifty. Well, oh, McDonald's. Yeah, it's got like a little McDonald's symbol in it. There, that's interesting. McDonald's promos. Two fifty. All right, cool. Uh, yeah. I'm getting a little bit of an education here and not, not hitting anything big, so I'll just move on. By.
Another McDonald's one. Scraggy. That says black and white, so... There is a McDonald's promo version. It's a buck. 40. Uh, energy switch. And that is from whatever that symbol is. This one. XY Roaring Skies. Whoa, 739. Hey, there's like a, my first kind of good hit there. 739, that's worth pretty much what I paid for this whole thing. Um, perfectly good condition, looks like, too. Cool. We're getting somewhere. Yep, there we go. There's a ha ha ha. Well, there's a Charizard, and this whole time since I've had this in the bag, I never realized that this was a proxy. <laughs> it had been printed out and put in there. That's really funny. Well, when you're a kid and you can't afford a real Charizard, what are you gonna do? You print one out. You uh, you put it onto a basic sea waddle. Oh my gosh. So. Well, that's how it goes in the biz here. You get a proxy Charizard and a Metagross and a. That was look expensive. So let's see, did those all. What else? What's hiding behind here? A Trubbish is 285 as a common. And from 2011, wow. I don't know, there must be something good about that card. All right, that was all of the cards that were in the uh, the regular sleeves, and we got a a Blaziken giant card. This is and a Crocodile EX. So these are the ones that you see in the big like boxes from Walmart or Target that try to you know I gotta attract the kids over. Look at this giant card, and of course I'm pretty sure these are worth nothing. They're just kind of a novelty, right? But they look cool. They're shiny. So I'll give those to my son, he'll love them. He's got a Blastoise, I think, already. All right, so we got this, I don't know if it's a deck. It's got a groovy band there. And, oh, wow, so this is uh, where the mega cool ones are, apparently. Well, maybe there's some, ho some hope here. There's a Charizard EX, I assume that's good. Okay, here we go with scanning this up. Um, this thing's got tape all over it. Uh, I don't know, is this like an official card or is this some kind of, I don't know, would it, let's see if it'll even scan if it is, if it's anything, I, I don't think so, like whatever it is, it's like super damaged because it's got tape all over it, but there it is. Uh, let's go, here we got an M Sizor EX Mega, yeah, so I don't know enough about Pokemon to know like how you would use this or what you would do with it. Obviously, it's awesome. It's got so much more <laughs> bling to it than all the regular common ones here. Let's see if it'll scan it. 
And, uh, oh wow, six bucks, huh? So the scanner doesn't like this foil sometimes, so this might be a little difficult, but bear with me. So wow, six bucks for a car like that, that's pretty decent. Primal Grudon. So this is not a foil, but it has like, I don't know, like a signature on it? Let's see. To like tell it to... Wow! Nine bucks! But it's not a... It, I think it's scanned it as a foil, but it doesn't look like a foil. It's just like, oh wait, a world championship. Interesting, okay. Full Art Omega. There's a couple different versions here, but... Alright, so I don't know with this card back... I know with Magic cards when they do world championship decks, they're not like super official, but... I don't know if it's actually nine bucks, but it's what it says it is there, so we'll go with that. Hoopa, so I gotta check the backs now. Hoopa EX. There's a buck. Put them in the buck pile, there we go. A Venusaur EX, and this one's all bent up, so. That's what kids do with their cars, they play with them, right? So it would be like four bucks, but there it is, we'll put them here. Meliata EX. Hollow, whatever. A couple bucks there. So, and Charizard, of course, is like the big dog of this game, right? So, he's seen a little play. I don't think he's going to come back at 10 when I send him to BGS. Alright, come on, the reflection. I'm going to trick it. Can it? I really want it to scan and know, so I don't have to search it out. Come on. Nope, I'm going to have to like add it in manually, so... Charizard EX, this is from... What is that, a star? Some kind of star, let's see. Uh, XY Promos, is that right? It's the XY17 XY Promos, okay, let's, let's go with it. So being... 578. Good old Charizard. That's awesome. Well, the the bag faked me out with the fake Charizard on the back, but I ended up with the real one. So, again, I think I'm going to give all this stuff to my kid. He's going to love it. So, you know what I mean? I'm not uh, probably going to be able to cash in with this stuff. So, what the heck? Let's just have some fun. Aurorus EX. And... Yeah, it's like a full border. It's a couple bucks there. Hey, wow. Trevenant EX. That one's cool. I like the color on it. That one's in good shape. Ultra rare. A buck ninety. You would think an ultra rare would be worth a little bit more, right? Uh, Rayquaza EX. Uh, hey, there we go. That's a big winner. Twelve seventy-two for a Rayquaza. Uh, as long as it scanned it correctly, it kind of looks like it, so... Hey! This turned out okay, actually. Ampharos EX. This one's in pretty good shape. It's got like a... Like a um, texture to that. Ampharos, eight bucks. Man! Blaziken. So I guess that would have been the one that came with the big... Bing Bing, it only, we only got one. Oops. Minus one. Wow! Some good stuff there, so this is all... Maybe this was the deck. Um, oh, there's more of this World Championship stuff here. Knight of Queen, let's see. That one's... Then back to the regular stuff. Macargo, these are like more of a full art though. Alright, I'm gonna move over that, so... Yen Mega, so this is the World Champion, let's see. I don't... I can't imagine that that's correct. It does show it as the... Like the gold lettering. I don't know. I, I'd be surprised if that was really nine bucks. But there it is. And same here, Magnazone. Let's see. Really? Nineteen? Man, you guys tell me down below, like, what am I missing? Because it's like a... That's not a, an official Pokemon card, is it? Okay, so... Hmm. 
Magnazone. Mm, it's got that. I don't know. I've, it's got that gold like lettering to it. Let's see. Is it? It's not that one. Oh, now it's different. Wait, there's the triumphant. I mean, I can't imagine this is really a $19 card. Yeah, let me know down below. What am I missing here? I'm just not a Pokemon guy. Vaporeon. Twenty-five cents. Here's a muck. A couple bucks for the laser. Yeah, I think like if it's not a a shiny old one, so a Venusaur, and again it's like folded in half. Let's see. Mm, yeah, it's definitely not that. I don't think. Secret Wonders, but it's not a hollow foil. Wait. No, it's not a foil. It's just. Yeah, I I don't know what that is, but it's ruined anyway. So we're just gonna skip by it. A rapid dash. That one looks old. It's got a 98. Legendary collection. Actually, it's a different symbol. It's got this little diamond. Is that a different thing? I don't know. It's. I guess it's the same. So. Oh wait. You know what? I can look at the picture. Yep. That's the one. Yeah, it's, it's a dollar. A Blaine's Grow Life. Couple bucks there. Gym Heroes, huh? Interesting. Kadabra. Legendary. So, yeah, some of these are a little older. Machoke. Wow, pretty interesting. Seedra. Buck fifty. Bell Sprout. There's a magic carp. I'm aware of magic carp. Team Rocket. Ninety-eight. Is that really what this is? It's got that little diamond in the bottom right hand corner. Team Rocket Magic Carp. Dragonair. Ninety-eight. So that's all these are some older ones. Hey, seven fifty. Base set. Is that the right one? Yeah. Again, like a little star in the bottom right there. So hey, that was a good one. A month. Oh, Omaniti. Nothing big there, and an energy. That's my last card there. So hey, um, pretty amazing for seven ninety nine. Uh, I'm sure that I couldn't just turn around and sell any of this stuff for that much. Let me know down below, how did I actually do here? Uh, most of the stuff I'm probably just going to give to my kid. Tell me if I really did get something that was amazing and I missed it. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think down below. Give me a like and subscribe and do all that good YouTube stuff. Won't be doing a lot of Pokemon. I'm mainly a magic guy and some other stuff. But it's interesting to go through things that I've never really messed with before. And I found a Charizard, you know, what What else would you want out of a collection of Pokemon cards? So, hey, thanks for stopping by. Tragic MTG, catch you later.